Guten Morgen, everybody. I hope you all are having a wonderful Sacred Soul Sunday. This is Jonathan Berry coming to you live from right beside the riverside here with this weeping willow tree gracefully caressing my background with its effortless presence as it's manifesting like an unfolding dream infinitely expanding itself through sacred geometric mathematical sequences that are looking through you as you look through it <laughs> freestyle and today wanted to share some insights with you all today because i just got done uh, meeting up with a really cool group of meditators here in portland um, and we did a walking meditation and walking meditation where you're embodying a new energy, you're embodying a new frequency, and you're walking in that power, you're walking in that presence. And when you are able to take your meditation and stand up, right? When you're able to get into a meditative state and move beyond the, the seated asana, uh, when you're ready to get off your asana and into the field, um, that is when we start to transcend the old programs, when we start to transcend the old needs, the old desires to sit and be stagnant and begin to move energy. Because when we move energy, when we begin to move energy, we tap into that universal force of, of expansion, that cosmic law of expansion, because the universe is always expanding, right? Can you guys hear me all right? Let me know. Give me some likes and some loves if you can hear me, uh, if I'm coming through clearly here. Um, and so a lot of times what happens is, you know, we get stagnant. People, you know, like we get stagnant in our old ways of thinking, our old ways of perceiving. Um, we get caught into a program, right? We get caught into a mental program, a, a, a way that we perceive reality and our perception creates our window through which we see uh, not only how the world is, but how we are in the world. And we have the ability to change the way that we perceive the world. And when we do, uh, we experience what I call a quantum shift. And a way that you could describe or perceive a quantum shift is if you have ever seen the vibrating uh, salt on, a, on the table where they, they basically vibrate the plate and they increase the frequency. It's like... And then as it starts to vibrate the sand or the salt starts to actually change form and and as the frequency increases guess what happens so does the complexity of the sacred geometry the shapes that are created through that frequency change and so in a very similar way the conversations that you hold the things that you talk about the people that you engage with the, uh, the way that you engage with people, like if, you were to, if someone were to say, hey, how's it going? And you were like, oh, it's all right. You know, or ah, oh, you know, like, ah, oh. you know, I've just been, and, and, and a lot of times, a lot of times we're venting about our problems, right? We're making our friends our therapists, you know? It's like, we're, we're bringing, and, and it's, it's healthy, you know, don't get me wrong. It is healthy to talk about what's happening in your life. It's important to release those stories. But there comes a point in time, if time were not just an illusion, there comes a point in time where we have to make that shift, where we say, okay, from this moment forward, I'm no longer going to be telling the old story, but I'm going to begin affirming a new story into existence. Can I get an aho? Do you know what I'm saying? You start to speak a new story into existence and you begin to activate and mobilize those cosmic laws, those universal principles, the, the, the principle of vibration and frequency, the words that you speak. When you speak a word, that vibrational tone goes into the field and it vibrates, it harmonizes. The types of songs that you sing are going to inspire other people to sing along with you or they're going to cause, cause them to change the channel. You know what I'm saying? So we have the ability to either reside in the old program or reside in the new program. We have the choice to bring the past into the present moment and be living a past present moment or we can tune into the infinite future potentials that all begin in this moment right now and begin to experience a future present moment. 
past present moment versus future present moment. Let's, let's unpack that for a moment. A past present moment means that you are bringing a past experience into the present moment and you're reliving that experience in, in the now, right? In this cosmic, universal, infinite, magical moment where all of the universe is manifesting at the speed of light where the universe is looking through your eyeballs and, 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 and the source is saying, I want to experience magic through you. What are you gonna choose? Me? Hey, me, what are you gonna choose today? And you're like, oh, so tired. Eh. Come on, we can do better than that. But it takes a, a, a certain sense of a, a willingness to, to lean past the pain of, of, of letting go of the old story, right? We have to almost die to the old self a little bit. We have to willingly execute the old self. And in that sense, you become a threat to the old program. You become a, a threat to the status quo, right? Because if you're surrounded by people that are living in past, present moments, and they're saying, oh, you know, like, yeah, we're identified with our social caste. We're identified with an with a, a, a economic class. We're, I, I'm identified as being a, you know, what, what's, what's these different identities? Oh, I am the person that I, my family. I am the school that I was raised in. I am the stories that I was brought up. I'm, I am my trauma. I, you know, no. Right now in this moment, I am an infinite being capable of creating any experience tuning in to a future present moment, tuning in to a future present moment, past present moment, bringing the past into the present, future present moment, bringing the future into the present. Did you know that the average person spends 90 to 95% of their entire life in unconscious thought? That statistic is literally what wakes me up in the morning and, and gets me to do this work that I do. The average person spends 90 to 95% of their entire life in unconscious thought. And most people are sleepwalkers. Most people are, are, are completely asleep. They think they're awake, but they're actually just walking in the old version of self. They're walking in the ego. They're walking in the identity. And that's okay. Don't get me wrong. I'm not, I'm not damning the ego. I'm not saying it's bad. What I'm saying is let's become more aware of what's happening inside of our body. Let's study uh, neuroscience. Let's study neuro and, 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 oh, endocrinology neuroendocrinology. Let's study epigenetics. Let's tune in to what it is that is happening inside of our body and start to become increasingly aware of the power that we have to create our future. Because here's the thing, just as you increase the frequency of the vibrating plate and everything shifts, the moment that you shift your frequency, the moment that you raise your elevate, you elevate your awareness, the moment you start to change your perception, guess what changes? Everything changes and it can happen like that. It can happen overnight. It can happen in an instant. But here's the thing. It was all of the moments and all of the instances leading up to that shift where you were catching yourself over and over again going unconscious. It was, it was all of those moments where you were doing your sacred study where you were doing your, your, your meditation practice, when you were uh, leaning into the edges of, the, of your shadows and saying, I want to illuminate my shadows. It was every time that you decided, no, I'm not gonna, even though I'm gonna go talk to this person, I'm not gonna bring my old story into it. I'm gonna bring a new, a new future into this present moment. I'm gonna bring a new conversation into this, into this meeting I'm about to walk into. And when you do that over and over again, it's all of those micro moments that pay off and when you get to that fucking magical moment where boom, shift happens, everyone's like, whoa, how did that happen? That, that, it was like magic, right? People are like, what? Like, how did, whoa. It was like a total, like a series of synchronicities that all unfolded. That like, it was almost like we're in a movie. And, and everyone's like, how, how did you do that? Or how did that happen? And, and you just know. You're like, oh, I, I already know. It's, it's just a sign from the universe saying, hey, you're on the right track. And the more that you practice, the more that you begin to take your power back from that unconscious mind. 
Is this resonating with you guys? <laughs> if you have any questions, let me know. I would love to just tune in with you and, and check in with where you are at because here's the thing. Chances are is that a question that you have is a question that the collective consciousness has and the more that we can elevate the collective consciousness, the more that we elevate the frequency of the planet, the more we come into harmony, the more that we experience heaven on earth. So please share any, any questions or insights um, related to this topic because when you change your energy, you change your reality. And I want to, I want to speak to that. So right now in this moment, our bodies are vibrating at the speed of light. Our bodies are vibrating and manifesting at the speed of light. On a subatomic level, our atoms are vibrating and communicating to each other through photons. And there's something you can Google it called biophotonic energy. And this biophotonic energy is always being emitted. It's always, it's always there. Whether you are meditating or not, you're always meditating on something. Whether you're conscious of it or not, it doesn't matter. You, your mind is always magnifying and, and, and magnetizing that which you are thinking and feeling. The thought triggers the electrical signal the feeling creates the magnetic signal of the electromagnetic field that you are emitting. That electromagnetic field is a vibrating positive and negative polar force, a gravitational force to be reckoned with. And it is the presence of you. It is the universe as a cosmic black hole, the black hole of the universe creating a field of energy inside of your body starting at your heart the heart being the central chakra the cent the unity of polarities the unity of polarities meaning that well you've got you know this positive and this negative force that is starting in your heart your heart is the central point and so it's important to tune into that heart power tune into that energy center and remember that that is, the, that, is the, that is the magnetic field. That is where the magnetic field comes from. So when you change your energy, like you could be in a state of chill and acceptance, which is a good place to be. You could be in a state of gratitude. They say, Joe Dispenza says that gratitude is the ultimate state of receivership. Ah. <sighs> Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for this present moment. Thank you for the opportunity to be alive. Thank you for vitality. Thank you for health. Thank you for the presence of my awareness. Thank you for my family. Thank you for this present moment. Right now in this moment, I bless this present moment with my presence. Right now in this moment, I bless every single individual who's here with me right now. And I ask that on a cellular level, there is a divine attunement, uh, electromagnetic activation that's starting in our hearts and triggering a, a cascade, an electrochemical vibrational impulse that cascades through our entire body that's elevating us to a higher frequency of potentiality. And as that magnetic energetic, as that energetic activation takes place in our body, may we begin to elevate our awareness and our frequency to the next highest best way that we could be experiencing this present moment to the just to the next level and as we tune into that allow for our energy to to coalesce and to begin to entangle entangle yourself with the next highest level of potentiality and in this moment, as we set the intention, they say that, that, that form, that, that thought precedes form. And what that means is that a thought, if you can move your awareness to something, if you can think it, then you can bring it to reality, right? Every single building, every single building in this beautiful city here started as an idea. Every single business that was ever created started as an idea, as an epiphany, a divine revelation. And then that stroke of genius, that moment of insight, suddenly woke something up in that person. They said, you know what? I have a vision that's greater than the suffering of the past. I've got a vision, I've got a dream that's bigger than my old story or my old program or it's bigger than the story of my parents or my grandparents. 
It's bigger than the pain of my ancestors. I've got a dream that is so much bigger than the, than the haters that I got. I've got, a, I've got something inside of me that the universe wants to create and it's, it's so powerful, it's so important that I'm not going to let my hunger for sugar take over. I'm not going to let my old doubt take over because this thing is bigger than the doubt. This thing is bigger than my, the story of fear of failure. And the moment we change our energy, that is when we change our reality. Change your energy, change your frequency, change your timeline. Living in a future present moment versus a past present moment. Are you guys picking up what I'm putting down? Are you feeling this? Can you, are you feeling me? We start to tune into that frequency. We start to quantum entangle ourselves with that new timeline. What does that mean? Fifth dimensional manifestation, 5D. 3D is the box, 3D is the box. 4D is a line of boxes, it's the timeline. 5D is vertical potentials, vertical timelines, infinite timelines. And the moment that you energetically raise your frequency to start to ascend timelines, ascend, ascension. Have you heard of ascension before? Ascension. We start to ascend to a new frequency. And we, and we suddenly, and we move our consciousness there. We're not like physically like jumping, although you can. Actually, what I like to do sometimes is I actually like to be like, oh, I'm jumping timelines. Boom. Like I just actually jump as a symbolic representation of jumping timelines. But you actually, you move your consciousness there because thought precedes form. Th first comes thought, then comes matter. And when I'm having a psychedelic meditation, when I'm going deep into the yin, when I'm going deep into the quantum field, and I'm gonna start creating in the field of possibility, I'm gonna go into the field, and when I open my eyes, I come out on a new timeline. When I go in there, when I go in, I'm not going in and saying, I'm just gonna quiet the mind, no. I'm going in and I'm doing work. I'm doing some energetic attunement. I'm doing a ho'oponopono, karmically, energetically. And this is an entire different video. I want to, I want to, I wanna, I'm, I'm about to release a new meditation program I'm excited to share with you guys because the meditations that I've been having are just like out of this world. And, and, and it's, it, it is the evolution. It's the evolution of our collective awareness. And it's happening every single day. We're all waking up together. And the more that we can support each other in waking up, you know, well, the more that we all elevate, we, we all ascend together, we all step into our, uh, you know, our, our power as the mystics and as the healers and as the shamans and the uh, high priestesses and priests. We step into our power as the energy workers and the light twerkers. And that's what life is all about. So we can step into our fullness into the radical creation of our reality. Stepping into radical creation. And when we do that, guess what? We become a threat to the old paradigm. We become a threat to the status quo. Suddenly, the old programs and limiting beliefs in your subconscious mind are starting to shake and they flare up sometimes. The old programs will start to flare up because holy shift, He's waking up. She's waking up. She's doing the work. She's making a different decision that's causing her to begin to see reality differently. Those old programs and limiting beliefs all of a sudden start to shake in their boots as you begin to take your power back over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. So, you guys down to do it? You down? Cause like, what else are we gonna do, right? We're gonna stay asleep. We're gonna be uh, sleepwalkers for the rest of our lives. 
we going to allow the old programs? No. No. We're waking the fuck up. We are waking up together over and over and over again. And when you catch yourself unconscious, when you catch yourself in the old program, you become consciousness. And guess what? The moment that you become consciousness, the old program fades away. And in that moment, you just transcended hundreds if not thousands of years of unconscious programming. Every time that you catch yourself going unconscious and you say right now in this moment, I no longer, I no longer give my power away to that old program. You are breaking the karmic cycle. You are ascending above the program. You are, you are on the cutting edge of the awakening of consciousness. And this is the place of power. This is the access point to infinite timelines. This is the access point to all potentials for your future. And if you can just do that over and over and make it part of your mantra, make it part of your daily practice, to realize that we are not the thinking mind. We are not the stories. We are not the old programs of doubt and limitation. When we decide that, no, I'm, I, I, I want to tune in. I'm going to affirm into reality a new affirmation that I am living in a universe that is abundant, where all possibilities exist for my future. I'm tuning into the greatest possibility for my future right now. And you begin to... Galactivate <laughs> that timeline. You start to activate a new energetic expression inside your body, and then guess what happens? You start to express a new epigenetic expression. Your genes are starting to create a new. Uh, a, a, they're they're creating a, a new sequence. Of, of genetic potential and you start to encode your body it's like you're receiving a higher dimensional insight a higher dimensional frequency a higher dimensional revelation as if it were a light code light code light code download down into your subconscious mind integrating it activating a biological upgrade starting to feel energy starting to feel emotion starting to consciously tune your body like an instrument to a higher degree of potentiality this is where the power is my friends this is it this is where we start to access new timelines this is where we start to access new energy this is where we start to have powerful revelations and all of a sudden we begin to realize actually i've got a lot more inside of me that i didn't know existed I've got a lot more insight. I've got a lot more revelation. I've got a lot more. I've got, I've got divine downloads coming through me right now. I never realized that I had that potential. All of a sudden, I've got friends and, and people who I work with who are in, be initiating themselves as healers, initiating themselves as light workers, as shamans, as high priestesses, as creators, as engineers, as cosmic orchestrators of magic. And you know, like, this is our, our birthright as, a, as being a human. This is not something that, that like only select people have the ability to do. This is something that we all have access to. We all have access to the magic that is in the present moment that is waiting to be activated through you, through the source, because guess what? You are the source. The source is experiencing life through you, as you, with you right now in this present moment. It's undisputable. Do you want to talk about it? Do you want to debate about the fact that you have black holes in your eyeballs that the universe is looking through like the black hole in the center of the galaxy? Like we could debate about it. Why not just like create about it, right? <laughs> Let's get weird about it, you know? <laughs> I mean, we are in Portland after all. Um, just so you guys know, I'm driving to ecstatic dance right now. I'm not like just driving because it's fun. I'm driving to go get freaking ecstatic i just did a walking a morning walking meditation with a bunch of friends and now i'm going to ecstatic dance this is like the ideal day i mean you know i, I could go for a surf and that would really make it the ideal day um i appreciate everyone tuning in with me here i would love um if you share this video 
I feel like this was a good transmission today. Um, if you feel inspired, please share it with your community or tag anyone that you feel would resonate with this type of message because here's the thing, is that the more that we can help each other activate our soul expression to the greatest degree of potentiality, the higher we vibrate and resonate on a global scale and the more peace that we bring to the planet, the more uh, heaven we bring to earth, and the more abundance we create, the more people in power that we wake up, the more people that we in power that wake up, the more we begin to see real shift happening in society and in our world. And it all starts on the inside. It all starts with you taking your initiative, initiating yourself to the highest degree of creatorship. To the highest degree of creatorship. And that means that, you know, sometimes we have to put aside the old desires, the old addictions, the old friends that are not in full alignment, right? We have to let go of, you know, the old, like, you know, programs that said, oh, like, you know, I'm, you know, I'm not worthy or I am not abundant or like I struggle, like the struggle is trill, right? What does trill even mean? Is that even a word? right? <laughs> because there is no struggle. We are an effortless flow of manifestation. We are in the highest degree of manifestation right now in this present moment. Our body's uh, uh, cardiovascular system, our immune system is vibrating at the highest octave right now in this moment as we take a deep breath and inhale. Hold it. Tuning into the highest degree of potentiality for our life and for our future for the greatest good of humanity and exhale. And as you exhale, feel it integrate on a cellular level into your body and allow for that light code, that higher dimensional frequency of awareness to integrate into your biology and tuning your energy to higher degrees of potential so that we can just reside in that state of possibility, right? Because when we reside in that state of possibility, now we're in the quantum realm. Now we're in the realm of possibility. We're no longer in the old storyline that said, oh, I, I gotta, you know, find my next meal. I've gotta find a, someone to procreate with. I've gotta find a, you know, someone to save me from myself. I've gotta find someone to parallel park for me. I need a robot or a computer, some sort of artificial intelligence to think for me and to tell me what kind of ads to click on, please. Don't hit the car. Don't hit the car. Love that. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Wow. That just happened. I just parallel parked live on Facebook. Are you guys proud of me? Are you proud of me? I'm proud of me. All right. Don't forget the things. I'm going to bring my cool new ecstatic dance pants. I wish you guys could see my cool new ecstatic dance pants. They're re <laughs> really not that cool, but, you know, I think they are. Um, okay, any uh, questions from my friends? What's up, Noble? What's up, Keloha? What's up, Alicia? What's up, Leela? Ashley? Warren? Charlene? Yasmin? Cooper? What's up, family? Rachel? Oh, I love you guys. Linnea, so good to see you guys. Mm. Bless the water to our bodies. Bodies made of 70 to 80 percent water let's bless it up bless the coffee to my soul huh oh drop my keys all right y'all so uh news flash couple updates number one um this weekend on saturday the 24th we're going to be doing a biohacking and future mapping for leaders and luminaries workshop twerk shop next level downloads coming your way I'm really excited to share it. If you're interested in joining, doesn't matter where you are in the world, you can come to Portland. You're gonna love yourself for it. Portland is such a magical place to be. Um, so many incredible communities and people, and I feel like it's just a good place to visit. <laughs> so come, and then if you do come, then you can come with me to the Fairy Festival that's happening the following day. Uh, we're gonna go to the Fairy Festival and 
uh, dance and dress up like fairies and unicorns. Um, and that should be pretty weird, you know, which is cool because I like weird. Um, and then, uh, and then I'm going to Spain for the Ecstatic Awakening Retreat, uh, which starts on September 1st. We have a few spots available if anyone's interested to dance in the mountains of Spain and hang out with desert dwellers and Kamananda and Parangi for an entire week and Ronya and Gabriel, you know, like all of these superhumans who are just like my heroes and hanging out in the mountains and it's just it's such a deeply soul nourishing experience like you know just being able to radically express and learn how to channel and harness the power of our emotions um it's a real deal so um and also just wanted to let you all know that i always have space available for uh sacred strategy intuitive life path design sessions these sessions are life-changing, they're soul activating, they will take you into a deeper understanding of your soul's evolutionary path and give you the understanding of, of how to transmute old stories and, and begin to tap into new timelines. And my gift and my ninja skill is being able to tune into new timelines. And I promise you, this is something that you'll never experience with anyone else. Every session is different. Um, but the intuitive life path design process is uh, a process that's designed to help you to gain deeper understanding of what it is that you are here to do on this planet. Um, and when you get into alignment in that way, you unlock next level timelines and uh, you unlock new energy. You liberate energy that was previously being taken by old paradigms and timelines and you start to um, access new potentials and when you access those new potentials you're able to quantum entangle yourself with those potentials and it activates your soul and you begin to see a new possibility for your future and that is like one of the best things in the world because yeah you know malleability and 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 flexibility and the ability to to be um to be uh, 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 uh what's the word i'm looking for um it's like malleable but it is come on you guys this is the test this is the test um, but basically being neuroplastic right is what i was really going for um being able to you know um start to activate our souls for the greatest good of humanity together over and over again because it's what I love, 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 love. Seeing you guys all my love. I just got to ecstatic dance. We're here at the Tiffany Center. The magic awaits. See you on the other side.